Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Let's get another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, you're continuing the journey of Benton Alien Force. This is Season 3, Episode 14. Of course, I won't know the title until I get into the episode. Last week's episode was the one a lot of you guys were waiting for because it was the introduction of Wrath. Let me tell you something! And I really didn't think about this, but obviously John DiMaggio is voicing Wrath and everything. And the design's really cool, like this gigantic tiger on two legs, of course. And he's really angry, he's aggressive. But people pointed this out, you know, he is essentially, they're paying homage to Wolverine with this character. And I'm like, that's a good comparison. I really didn't think about that because I was tired last week. I'm still tired this week too, recording this video. But I was really tired that morning when I was filming that Wrath episode. And I I literally got just pulled in and forgot that I was exhausted. I'm like, this is insane <laughs> watching this new character and Ben just staying as Wrath the whole entire episode pretty much, you know, for the ma good majority of it. Let me try that again. My voice just went completely blah right there. He was so angry. And then, of course, randomly out of nowhere, Volcanus shows up for no reason. Just because Kevin had to say something that would imply that he's going to show up. And, of course, he does. Um, and then we find out the Vrito brothers are actually not... The real Vrito brothers, because they're clones. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on with that, of course. And Kevin's uh, sleazy friend is also there randomly in this bar-type setting. It's like, a lot of things were happening. And then, of course, the little baby got ate. <laughs> Did you eat the baby? And he jumped down his throat and got the baby and saved its life. And then they found a way to have a peace treaty because Wrath threatened the other guy, the, this, this big, giant red alien, saying, I'm going to twist your intestines into, like, a bow or something. It's like... Pretty messed up stuff. And then, of course, as soon as the baby left, I think it's at the tip, the whatever they call it, Tiffin or something. I think it's the, the name. All of a sudden, the Omnitrix is working again, and Ben turns back. He's fine. So, I don't know. There was clearly something wrong, and the Omnitrix was uh, malfunctioning. But I guess it doesn't really matter because we got Wrath. Okay, we got Wrath out of the whole thing. But, yeah, it was definitely interesting for sure. I wasn't expecting that that was you guys were talking about. You guys were hyping up saying, can't wait for the next episode. And then it was Wrath's introduction. I, I wasn't expecting it to be an alien reveal. But now it makes more sense because of how over the top he is and how funny he is and how just so angry so quickly he can get. So, anyways, guys, I'm curious where we go from here in terms of uh, Alien Force because we have now passed the mark where traditionally a season of Men 10 Classic or Alien Force would end after episode 13. We're continuing past that threshold, so we'll see what happens. We have 20 episodes in total of the final season of Alien Force, so we'll see what happens. Let's continue on, guys. Season 3, episode 14. Let's go. Vildexia is safe again, sire. Oh my the gosh. I love you. I find their approbation hollow. Because he actually didn't Thank do it. Forgiveness, master. Mm. Speak with care, Siphon. Your counsel is valuable, not irreplaceable. Of course, I like master. that. That was a good response. My point was simply... I am closer than ever to controlling the Omnitrix's power. Are we actually seeing the scene? Are we actually seeing it? Tell me. Try. What? Master. What is going on? Oh my god. So what's going on here? Who's this? Not this one. Technodons are mass-produced battle robots. Let's see, I think I recognize that robot. Okay. You just can't resist my mm. magnetic Primus. That's the title too. What is it? What, uh, what's going on? Of course. What? <laughs> Wait, huh? what? What happened? You are a piece of junk. Gwen? Okay, thank God, yes. Gwen. Oh my God. Don't just thank me, you Mundasaur. Is it out of you power? Mundasaur? That function is not available. Where are all my aliens? That function is not available. It's a loading screen. <laughs> must to oh Primus. my God. Does somebody need Primus. Guys, What's happening? What? Get in there, hurry. They're on an alien planet. Blue trees. It was a clean hit. Of course it's green. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the flashing? Add it to the growing list of things I don't understand. If I built the Omnitrix, I would have added a few improvements. Like what? Like making it work. Uh oh. You're gonna smash some bugs? Ooh, damn, okay. Ha! Who's the hero? Wait, what? You're in trouble now. It's scanning them. Taking oh. samples? Well, stop taking I mean, samples and start taking names. Ben Tennyson has fulfilled purpose. Purpose. Omnitrix must find creator. 
Oh my god, it just... Okay. The Omnitrix is gone. I... I'm... Okay, hold on. I'm pausing. I, I normally don't pause during reactions. But that... I, this is bad. This is bad. Because the last time... Because it's Crater, which is Azmuth. Azmuth is really, really upset with Ben. So maybe... Azmuth is taking it back. He doesn't trust Ben anymore. I don't know. Okay, this is fucking... And it, it came off his wrist. It, like, it, it's insane because that has been a question I've been asking. And I want, I'm not going to spend too much more time. We're going to get back to the, uh, the episode reaction. But, like, how do you take off the Omnitrix in between Classic and Alien Force? Like, that's been a question I've had and they've never addressed it. They've never addressed it. All of a sudden, now it's been fucking taken off. All right, let's continue. Asmuth is going to kill me. I mean, it's, he's already it's, so mad at you. Yeah. It doesn't get any worse. These are scorched, like from a ray gun. So we're not the only ones who've got a bone to pick with these things. There's a bunch of critters here. Okay. After you, hero. I've got to get it back. I will get it back. I don't know, man. Just a Kevin's got a point. What happens if you don't oh, get the Omnitrix no. back? Reminding me. Oh my God. Okay. This is more like it. No mud, nothing. Careful. Can touch us. No, I don't, don't say that. Oh my God. That pretty much could kill him. I'm guessing. Kevin. What part of I got this? Did you not understand? I don't think you had it. <laughs> Green goo and green water or whatever everywhere. It's gotta be that Primus guy. He and Vilgax must be working together. Then why are they fighting? I, I don't oh, think sure. so. <laughs> this is pretty cool, even though I'm confused what the fuck's going on. But not nearly good enough. The fuck? Oh shit. What? 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 And he said, give me a minute. What the fuck is going on? Rap. Oh, my God. Oh, the voice is different. Rath. Oh, Azmuth, okay. Ooh. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. To the victor goes the spoil. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. If you two are mm. here, yep. cannot be far behind. Well, that's true. The Omnitrix is mine. Shit. Shit. You this is terrible. Of the Omnitrix. It's not working. It's not working. Tell me how to use it. I am your master now. <laughs> I command you. I command you. Big chill. But the Omnitrix is no longer yours, Ben Tennyson. Vilgax has We can't let Vilgax. I concur. This is bad. They're Ben's gonna go out there. There's nothing you can do. Good plan, Ben. What'd he what? do? You want Why is he? Let what, what's going on? Right then? Neural I'm about to say, what are the headbands for? Tell me, Tennyson. Ben Ten and his friends mm. shall be fed to the Codon stream. What? Codon stream. I thought um, that stuff was green lava. Yeah, I, uh, Seriously, maybe. We're about to be boiled alive in asthma. Everything? Quick, chew through our chains. <laughs> I am not a rodent. I know your hearts are in the right place. Although yeah. For my design, I'd move your hearts a bit more to the center. Primus is this whole planet, an organic oh. machine of my creation. What? Haven't you ever wondered how I was able to collect a sample of DNA from so many life forms? Oh. Those flying creatures that attacked me and took the Omnitrix. The Primus felt threatened. Yep. So it summoned the Omnitrix home. Mm -hmm. Omnitrix Makes must sense return now. to Primus. I knew the Omnitrix would not be far behind. Yep. Omnitrix must Damn, find okay. creator. If all the DNA is here on Primus, what's inside the Omnitrix? Right, girl. Mm. The Omnitrix is like a wireless device. Tell me how to activate the Omnitrix, or I'll destroy the whole planet. No! Mm. Teach me to operate the Omnitrix, and I'll free your friend. No. Uh, it's a trick, you, probably. Yeah. Ben Tennyson. When you turn the dial, you have to be pushing in at the same time. I can do anything! Something bad's going to yeah. Oh, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> I can't move! 
I know. That was I smart. I figured he's gonna do something. Oh my god. Who's the hero? Okay. You are. You are. <laughs> Everybody. Cannonball. Yeah, cannonball. Yeah. And we're getting another Vilgax Ben fight. Okay. <laughs> this is a big episode. Holy shit. Mm. Ooh. Oh. It is not over. It is not over. Bio energy in the codon stream combined with Ben Tennyson. Oh my fucking god. This is such a big episode. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh my god. Stop hitting yourself. Oh my god. Pass the ship. A giant Vilgax out there somewhere to worry about. Mm. The effects of the codon stream will wear off shortly. Oh, okay. Meaning we've That's good. just got a regular size Vilgax to I shouldn't even allow you to leave with it. But will you? You are welcome. This was a massive, insane episode of Alien Force. I was not expecting all of this craziness and big reveals and epic moments to occur in this episode. I wasn't expecting the amount of them, especially that, the amount of them. So normally I don't scrub through the episode because you won't be able to see it on screen, but I will. I normally don't scrub through the episode, but there's so many things that happen. I want to make sure I try to cover as much as I possibly can. So we're going to we're gonna dive in. So we open with Vilgax. His people are praising, loving him, and all that. Of course, this is referring, I think, back to when his planet was saved because the Ghost Freak, of course, Ben, Gwen, and Kevin helped out. And he says that it, their love and appreciation feels hollow because he actually really didn't do it himself. It was really the help of the three of them helping Vilkax. He doesn't want to uh, um, admit that. He then refers to the Omnitrix and Ben. That's the one thing that's really causing him pain and issues is that he's not actually truly defeated everything and beat everything that he wants to. Ben is the one thing. So his, like second in the command, if you will, um, has was trying to give him advice. Well, just go attack Ben 10. It's like, you just want me to go do this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, your counsel is, you know, is wanted, but it's not irreplaceable. Basically, you, you can be replaced. Within flashback, briefly to the Ghost Freak Vilgax opening of that episode, the gigantic kind of crossover, if you will, and that's not a crossover, but the idea of Ghost Freak and Vilgax in the same episode and you know, everything just kind of went down from there. Ghost Freak mentions Primus, which is the title of the episode. Of course, I didn't know that until we got into the episode. Primus. Now, when that was mentioned, I'm like, I don't know what that refers to, but it has to be something significant. Because how for how does Ghost Freak know about it? I guess because Ghost Freak was in the Om Omnitrix. Of course, what we kind of learn later, maybe the implication is that all of the aliens kind of know about the Primus connection and how the Omnitrix, I, I'm guessing, I don't know. But see, Ghost Freak is the only one that has gotten out of the Omnitrix that has, you know, basically removed himself from the Omnitrix. Obviously, he's back there again, but still. So Primus, of course, you have the intro, blah, blah, blah. They're fighting one of those, uh, Kevin, Gwen, and Ben, they're fighting one of those ro red robots that they fought before, and, and then Kevin saying, no, this is a different one, because, um, and I think it's the same robot that had, like, the hand, it was the hand episode, where his hand was still active, essentially, it was cut off, but it was still, um, and I think that was when they introduced Goop, I think that was the episode, uh, but yeah, so they're fighting that, we're just doing a little bit of action, just trying to switch it up, I guess, and of course, we have, um, I forget what the, I forget what the alien's name is, Ben didn't yell it out, but it's the magnetic one that he was destroying the robot with, and then, of course, the Omnitrix stops working, now, see, the Omnitrix, for the first, like, good portion of Alien Force was working really well versus in Classic where the Omnitrix was actually working um, and you could he could actually jump around and do whatever and switch around or whatever or just use it for longer periods of time. In Classic, of course, that wasn't the case. But all of a sudden now, things happen, the accident, the Omnitrix has now gone back to where it's being finicky and it reverts back and says that it needs to return to Primus. It needs to return to Primus. That the basically the energy is gone, and really what was happening is that the planet Primus was responding to the threat of Vilgax, and so it was calling back the Omnitrix to defend itself. And of course, all this is happening while also Azimuth is being notified as well about what's happening on Primus. So they get transported back. Well, also first before that, 
I'm, okay, I'm, I'm skimming through. The loading on the Omni piece, that was funny. When he's like trying to load up an alien and the loading screen, that was funny. That was a funny little moment. So they get transported to Primus. It's an alien planet. There's like, there's, and now it makes more sense because see, we see all this green liquid. It's not lava. It's not really, I, I don't, I don't think it's water either, but it's green liquid and the green is Omnitrix green and it leads up to this volcano, but it's not lava, but there's these kind of bee aliens that we learn later Azimuth created that are taking DNA samples up there. And that's where they get the DNA samples for the Omnitrix because the Omnitrix actually works and I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit, sorry, but just the visual of this is just crazy seeing this mountain or whatever or this like volcano type mountain situation with like the the water green water and it's all this dna that it's in the omnitrix is like a wireless connection to the primus planet and that's where the dna from the aliens and so they're getting attacked of course band can't turn anything they're attacking these b type aliens and then of course he's capturing the dna so i'm guessing can he turn into a version of these aliens now that were created by azimuth but then the omnitrix gets removed it actually gets and that's of course where i pause i'm like oh did i pause i think i paused like a little bit after that but i couldn't believe it because i've been saying this and i said this during that little pause break because i said we've never actually found out how ben got the omnitrix off in between classic and alien force and this does not explain that's that's because because the, the the way they're responding to this that however Ben got it off was not the same way. It wasn't like Primus was, was a threat at some point. And like, oh yeah, Primus. We never saw it, but now we're going to see, we're going back to Primus again. This is the first time. So whatever way Ben got it off the first time wasn't the same way here. But I wasn't expecting, with the Omnitrix being removed, that this was going to end up being like what was actually happening. Like, why was the Omnitrix removed? There was, I was like running through my head, like, why would it be taken off? But it said, it mentioned the creator, take it to the creator. So Asmuth was there. So that kind of, I, I kind of assume Asmuth was involved somehow. Skimming through, they're being attacked, the, the little platforms, like a squid type creature or whatever that was in there. And then they see a humongosaur, which is Asmuth fighting Vilgax. Now we're getting roughly to the halfway point of the episode and there's still much more to go. Um, so it was interesting. So I'm like, okay, my first thought was maybe it's Azimuth using the Omnitrix. Maybe it's not. I don't know what's happening here for sure. But I was assuming that since we're trying, it said finding creator, heading to the creator, which of course is Azimuth. So that would make sense. But seeing Azimuth actually using it. Now, what was confusing me is that when he got knocked out and he went back to uh, his Azimuth form, gray matter form, that he said, give me a minute. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm like, is this actually happening? Is this an actual real fight? Are they training? Or like, is there some sort of reveal that maybe Vilgax truly isn't evil? Like we think, I, I had no idea. But then of course, kept going the route. Of course, he is evil and everything. Azimuth was trying his best to defend the plan. And, and, and Vilgax actually wasn't being ruthless and just continually trying to fight him when he's needing to take a break. Then he turns into a version of Wrath, which is a different voice. The, the look of Wrath is the same. It's just the voice is different. Um, but it was still cool. Nonetheless, see wrath in the mix and there's, uh, and he doesn't actually do hand to hand combat with wrath or Asmus version of wrath. Of course, Kevin and Gwen try to go in there and, um, the Omnitrix course is removed from Asmus at this point. And, uh, Kevin and Gwen get the, get their shit rocked. There's also a new move that, um, Vilgax does. It's like a wind tunnel type attack. I'm not even sure what that is, but he does that. Then there's Vilgax with the Omnitrix, and he like hits the button, and it glows green, and it and then it goes to break or the commercial break, if there was a break, and then of course it's not working. Asmus not gonna tell him. Ben's there. Ben pats Asmus, and like, did you give me a there there? Yes, I did. Uh, we're skimming through here. Ben of course gets captured. They all get captured. They're wearing these. Uh, Kevin and Gwen are wearing these like little headband things to block out their powers so they can't use them, and they're floating over some sort of lava type setting which of course is a part of the river system of course when vilgax goes in there i was not expecting that reveal of what happened to vilgax but i think ben i think ben as they're all hanging above here and and asmuth is about to go into the whole thing about primus and everything i'm thinking ben is probably thinking of something to do here because they're in a no they're in a no-win situation pretty much but see ben has very 
he's very adept of course he's he's used Omnitrix for so long the two versions of it in terms of the classic and then the redesign of it being evolving if you will um, enhancing whatever you, whatever word you want to use leveling up um so I'm like, he's going to do something. Because I think the goop trick worked at some other point as well. I think he did it some other time as well. Where you take the, you know, the actual levitation-like device that actually keeps goop in, 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 a, in a physical form, in a sense, uh, and turning that off. So I think Ben was starting to figure something out. So Asmuth goes into the whole deal here. If, first of all, he was going to let them die. Of course, he wasn't really going to, but he had no choice because in the situation... Vilgax has the Omnitrix, this is really, really bad, like, I can't let him use it, everything, and, like, there's nothing he can really do in this situation. So he goes in the whole thing about Primus, and we see, like, this, like, device where the aliens he created, like, the B blue aliens are taking DNA, and then the Omnitrix is, like, a wireless connector, like I was saying earlier, a wireless connection thing, and that if Primus is destroyed, if something happens to Primus, then the, the Omnitrix will not work. And so when earlier in the episode, when it wasn't working and it stopped working, it was because Primus was, was being threatened and it needed, it needed the Omnitrix back to help protect it. And then of course we see where, um, Azmuth is there and Vilgax is there on the planet as well. Then he's still continuing saying, you know, all the DNA stuff's down there and all that. Here comes Vilgax. He was listening to all this. Of course he was listening to all this conversation and then, uh, he lets Ben go agreeing to let Kevin and Gwen live and let them leave. Ben's going to die. Die. <laughs> of course, not going to happen. And then he turns him into goop, which was really smart. Then he takes the, the levitation device, turns it off, and then takes the Omnitrix back. Pretty simple, and it went back on his uh, his wrist immediately. I don't... I, I guess there's no explanation. I guess since he has been the owner of the Omnitrix for so long that he took the actual device, like the actual badge, off of um, Vilgax laying there in goop that... It, it will just reattach itself. I have no idea because we didn't see him actually put the watch back on. He just took it off and all of a sudden he has the watch back. And then here's Vogax. They're going to fight it out. And here comes Cannonbolt, which was awesome to see Cannonbolt. It was so cool to see him. And uh, see the little fight go down. I was like, okay, so we're going to another fight. And I thought this went pretty much the end. Vilgax falls into the pit. He falls in. And then, and then. Kevin says a line that implies, like, oh, we just killed Vilgax. Don't worry, man. I, it, it's it's rough or whatever, but it had to be done. He had it coming. And then Aspen's <laughs> like, it's not over yet. And then here comes gigantic Vilgax. And I'm thinking, okay, this is not a series. This is not the ser the series finale of Alien Force. Like, what the fuck? How? What are they gonna do? And then Ben turns into Waybag, which was awesome. And then he's fighting Vilgax. Like, oh my god, this fight is just, it's still going. It's still happening. And then he grabs Vilgax's arm and is hitting himself with his own arm, saying, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Typical Ben fashion. And then sends Vilgax off into space again, just like what happened into Secret of the Omnitrix. Sends him off into space. And then um, Aspen says that the, 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 the effects of it are going to wear off, so he'll be back to normal. And then we're uh, wrapping up. And Asmuth allows Ben to take the Omnitrix. And I think that, obviously, I don't know what the show would be with him without him at ha without him having the Omnitrix. Sorry, um, without him having, I don't know what the show would end up being. But Asmuth was questioning it. It's like I don't know. You've 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 just you, you've basically broke it. Essentially, you've messed it up. But you did save Primus. I have to move the planet and hide it. But you did save Primus. And you saved all of our lives, and you found out a way to trick Vilgax to get the Omnitrix away from you. Because I think eventually Vilgax would have figured it out. I think Vilgax would have figured... Because see, Vilgax has fought Ben so many times, and seeing him use the Omnitrix, eventually he's going to figure out how to manipulate it. I would think. I don't know. But that's just my guess. So Asmund lets him leave with the Omnitrix. And it ends on that note. It doesn't like, I don't know, I, I doubt they're going to explain how they got back to Earth from Primus. I'm guessing Asmund sent them back or maybe the Omnitrix will send them back. I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. Because the Omnitrix just teleported them there. So I'm not sure if he can teleport them back. I'm guessing Asmuth could show Ben how to do that. Or he does it and make it to where Ben can't do it on his own. So that he doesn't start manipulating and using the Omnitrix more than he should. Obviously, we know within the future timeline, like Ben 10,000 and Ken 10 in the classic series where he's grown up and he's been using the Omnitrix for so long that eventually it gets to the point where he has master control essentially of the whole damn thing. But I think he has to earn that. He can't just like learn that. He has to actually earn the right to use it in terms of its full capacity, which of course 
when we first get introduced to that Ben 10,000 version of the character, he's in a state of mind where he's, you know, he's not really uh, thinking about, you know, Gwen and all of the stuff, like Gwen and Max and everything. Like he's just basically in as an alien 24-7. So we had to get him out of that funk. But yeah, this was definitely a great... I was not expecting this crazy episode. I wasn't expecting the amount of insane stuff going on in this episode, but it was fun as hell. It was exciting. And when I thought... Okay, this is this is as big as the episode's going to get. It kept going because I thought, okay, Vilgax versus Cannibal. This is crazy. Oh, no, we have a giant Vilgax versus way big. Like, it just kept going. It was so insane. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. It was fun as hell. I was not expecting this. This definitely woke me up. I was tired getting into this video, but damn, this thing woke me up. This was so fucking cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm curious to know you guys thought about this episode. What were some of your highlights from the episode? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.